What's up, beast people? Tino's here, and welcome to the new series, which is gonna be Pokemon Soul Silver Aglock. Now, of course, you guys already saw that on the thumbnail and everything, so you guys already know it's gonna be an Aglock. So I guess you guys should already know what you have to do. Which basically, I will ask you guys for some eggs. You guys need to send me some eggs now. Of course, I will explain uh, in this video how to do that in case you don't know. And on the description, there will be the Gmail which you need to send the eggs to and everything. So, yeah, but I'll have a little tutorial going about that. And uh, yeah, this is the second anniversary of the channel. Like, 21st of March, two years ago, I uploaded my first video. And it's the second anniversary. So, I thought, why not just do something special for it? And nothing better for me right now, which than doing the same game that I played the first time. Like first LP was Pokemon Crystal. You guys can still see it. I might link the first episode down below, uh, but just saying, cringe. Like it's really cringy. You will see if you guys check out that series. But yeah, it was Pokemon Crystal, and I thought there isn't really like a remake of Crystal. There's just Heart Gold Soul Silver. I haven't done second gen. Like, I did Crystal, I did the phase lock with Ben, play rough, and that's pretty much it. I haven't done second gen at all. So I was like, you know what, this might be the time. So I'm gonna do it. It will be kind of a long series, yes. But, uh, I mean, if there's literally like just a lot of just a bunch of training, ba like trainer battles, I might skip those for you guys and everything. And I was even thinking, I want you guys to let me know down below. What do you think if I would live stream this series, just like, sometimes, you know, like I would just stream here on YouTube, of course, I would stream it here, so it stays here, and you guys would be able to keep up with it, but uh, I would like to know what you guys think, like for example, we're, I don't know, let's say, we're about to battle Team Rocket, I could just make a live stream battling Team Rocket, you know, instead of uploading a video, what do you guys would you think about that? And, uh, of course, live stream wouldn't be too long because, you know, I don't want, li like, to have videos of, like, two hours and something because of a live stream, you know? I would just live stream a portion of the game, so it would count, like, as an episode, you know what I mean? I want you guys to let me know, and, of course, let me know, maybe, if you want to see live streams, what days and times would you prefer it? And, of course, let me know your time zone so I can, like, maybe convert and everything, you know? Because otherwise I won't be able to really work around... But uh, I want some suggestions on that, of course, so let me know. I want you guys to send me eggs now. There's one thing. You guys can send up to three eggs each person. Three eggs. I'm setting a limit just because I don't want, like, a lot of eggs from the same person, you know? I won't really have a time limit for when you can send eggs. Like, pretty much you can send me eggs until I'm like, done with this series because you never know. Like, you could send your egg while I'm, like, I don't know, at the fourth badge but it could randomly still be picked, because I'll throw a dice, and that's how I'm gonna pick the eggs. That's pretty much how I'm gonna pick them, so it will be completely random luck based, like I'm not gonna like go in order or anything, no. It will all be random, like I'll place them randomly on the PC, and I'll pick them ra randomly, like that's pretty much it. So, just so it's like fair for everyone, I guess. This is the second Aglock. I lost the first one, actually. I lost the first one, Pokemon Diamond Aglock. Um, I was so pissed at that. Let's hope I don't lose this one. And another thing I want you guys to tell me, no. Do you want me to randomize the trainers? Because I could randomize the trainers, like Wild Encounters doesn't matter because it's an Aglock, so it doesn't matter if it's randomized or not. But the trainers, what we're gonna battle, gym leaders, everything. Do I leave it as it is, or do I randomize? That's one of the things I want you guys to let me know. Do I randomize them or not? Of course I would not randomize moves or types because that is too extreme for me. I still have yet to try one of those, but not on an Aglock. I'm not gonna do that. So so yeah, let me know down below about live streams, about randomizing, and of course send me three eggs, up to three eggs, and you can send them to the Gmail down below. Oh, and by the way, I start this series in maybe... Maybe one week? Yeah, I'll give it one week. I would say one week should be enough to send, to get enough eggs. I want to at least have a box of eggs, you know what I mean? Like, I want at least 30. If I can't get 30 eggs, which would be just 10 people to send me eggs, then... 
That would be cool. Even though, of course, I say 3x per person, but it's like, if you want to chunk maybe another 2 or something, it's not a big deal. I'll still take them. But, uh, but yeah, I would say maybe between 3, 5. 5 total max, like really the max, if you want to go 5. So, yeah. So, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And I guess in one week, I would start this series and seeing if I have 30 eggs or not. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I guess we're gonna go into the tutorial thingy on how to send the eggs. So yeah, let's go to the tutorials. All right, so into the tutorial to how to do the eggs, uh, pretty much you guys would first need to go into the description down below. There should be a link to download PokeGen. And after you download that, you should get a raw file, which you would need to maybe extract. Or maybe I'll just leave the application directly there, so you wouldn't need to really do anything. And pretty much you would just need to go to your downloads and uh, just open whatever you download it. I actually have mine here on emulator already placed and it should be like this. It should be PokeGen application or just a WinRAR and you just need to extract. I might just upload the application directly so it's easier for you guys in case you guys don't have WinRAR. So you just need to download this and open it. And uh, of course I'm gonna open it through here because I already have it placed here on my start menu. But uh, you would need this, this is what you would need, this program, this little window here. Now, of course, uh, after you get this little window opened, which is the PokeJam, there's just a few things you guys would need to know before you get started the egg. Now, first of all, of course, it's an egg lock, so you guys should already know that legendaries are not an option, because legendaries can't be breeded, and uh, you can't do any evolved Pokemon. You can't send me an egg that when hatches, it's a Charizard, per se, you know? Because that's will evolved, or even a Charmeleon, that's evolved already, you can't do that. It can only be a Charmander. It would always need to be the first stage evolution of every single species. So for example, if you want me to have a Pikachu or something, you would need to send me a Pichu. You can't send me the Pikachu, it needs to be Pichu, because that's the pre-evolution. And all that stuff, so pretty much just pre uh, first stage evolutions. And of course, as for the program itself, there's just a few things that I'm gonna go really quick through that you guys need to do, which would be pretty much, first you would go to options, target game, and you would need to select hard gold soul silver, because we're doing a soul silver egg lock. Now, after that, you would need to select here the Pokemon you want it to be. For example, I'm gonna put here Charmander, because I want a Charmander. And then a nickname, you could put your nickname, I'm just gonna put it Lizardon. This is just an example, so you guys can like follow up what I'm doing, if you want, while you do the egg. And then you would need to tick this, so it confirms the nickname is there. Now, this is the nature, if you just put your mouse there, you can see all the natures, in case you don't know them by memory, like what they do and whatnot. And, uh, of course, then you can just click and select the nature you want it. Now, I'm just gonna leave that as adamant, that is good for me. I want more attack, so why not? And then held item, I'm not sure if this works, but uh, you can always try, just leave an item. And uh, it might work on game, I don't know, not completely sure, gotta be honest. And then happiness? Yeah, so pretty much if you just leave it at zero, it will be way easier, because it will just hatch automatically. Like, as soon as I grab it, I make one step and it will hatch. So leave happiness at zero, that is the best option. Now, there's ability, and of course they will show up all the abilities over here, of course. Now. To know what ability to use, this is pretty easy. Now I'm gonna put this here to the side so you guys can see everything. And we're gonna open Cerebi.net. You would need to go to this here. It will be probably linked down below in the description too, so you guys can go to this page. And here it's really easy because you could go into the, let's say, here. Diamond, Pearl, Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver, Pokedex. It's here. It's one of the first options. We'd click there, you get this Pokedex. And, for example, us, we're doing a Charmander, so we go here, first gen, okay, let's go click Charmander, okay, this would be the Charmander for Heart Cold Soul Silver, it's here, so we're on the correct page, you can see the levels, everything, now, as for the abilities, it should say around here where the abilities are, okay, here, ability, Blaze, so pretty much on Soul Silver, Charmander only has Blaze, there's no other ability. There's no other hidden ability or whatever, so you only got Blaze. So you would go into PokeGen, and you would just put here the ability Blaze, which I think you can type it. Yes, you can type it, so you can just type it in, Blaze, 
Or you can go into the list and it will be there, Blaze. And you would need to just have one there. You don't need to change that number thingy, because there's no hidden abilities or whatsoever. So that should be good. The country doesn't matter either, you can leave that. And uh, origin, uh, I guess the origin can be left blank too, you don't need really to change that. And then of course there's the whole shiny and egg. Now you need to tick the egg because you know this is the egg, so make sure you tick that. And then shiny, it's in case you want it to be shiny or not, that's all up to you. If you want it to be shiny, you tick it, if you don't want it to be shiny, you don't. And you can select the gender, that's all up to you. The rest you can just leave it as it is, because it's not that serious. Now the mat, it will only need it to be this. This just needs to be ticked, and that's it. Now on the stats of course, I would not say to put EVs, because of course that's impossible, and I mean IVs, you can actually do that, you can just click randomize, and it will give you some random IVs for it, and of course if you want to, I don't know, give me a maybe a tougher challenge, you can make it really weak, as in like, just put like 4s and 5s on these stats, and you will have like really low stats, if you really want me to like, struggle, I guess, <laughs> or you can just go ahead and put 31, which is the max, into everyone, and that will make a really beast Pokemon. Like, it will be pretty freaking good. Because whatever it's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be decent at it. So, that's the thing. And it can always work around to maybe give me a specific hidden power, if you want to. And that's pretty much it. EVs, that's like during the game that we will gain, so this doesn't matter, you don't need to switch this. And then on the attacks, this is the most important part, because some people might get this wrong, is that you can only give level 1 or egg moves. Only level 1 or egg moves, That's those are the only moves you can give it to him. Now, again, for this we would go to Serebii, of course, because Serebii has all the moves here. And, for example, we have over here level 1, or no level at all, because those are the basic moves. You got Scratch and Growl. You would be able to give it Scratch and Growl. Now you can't give Ember because that's level 7. He's not gonna be at level 7, you know? So Scratch and Growl would be the two moves that he gets. And after that, you can go scroll down to, into Egg Moves. Those are the only moves he gets here, Egg Moves. And these are all the moves that he would get as Eggs. So you can just put any of these moves on him. He gets Belly Drum, Ancient Power, Rock Slide, Bite Outrage, Beat Up, Swords Dance, Dragon Dance, Crunch, Dragon Rush, Metal Claw, Flare Blitz, and Counter, which is only Heart Cold Soul Silver. So, if you want to put any of these strong moves on his move set, you can just go here to the list, select a move, because of course it shows all the moves again. It doesn't only show the moves for Charmander. So, for example, here, let's say you would give him Dragon Dance, because he's a physical attacker in this case. Then you would give it maybe Dragon Rush, because that would be something for physical, and maybe you could give it Flare Blitz, which would make him a freaking monster from the gecko, and you could give it Crunch, because why not, Crunch is physical and it's the dark type move, it's decent. So yeah, those would be for example a move set. that would be a move set. now, PP ups and everything, you don't need to change any of this, I mean, it will just give me more PP, and I, I don't really care about that, to be honest. I'm good with normal PP, so you don't need to change anything like that, just put the moves you wanted to be have, and you're pretty much good. And the OT, you don't need to change anything here either, because that will generate itself when it's hatched. And that's pretty much it, you would just need to put the attacks here, change the IVs here, either randomize or everything 31, make sure this is checked on Matt, and on the main you would just need to put the name, uh, or the species, the nickname, nature, ability, and tick egg and then shiny on the gender, that's pretty much it. That's all you would need to do. And of course make sure the target game is Heart Cold Soul Silver. That's pretty much it. Now after you've done all this, you would need to right click on this box here. And it says here, set. Bam, you set it. That's your egg. That's your the egg you just generated, that's the Charmander egg. Now, after you've done all that, you pretty much go to file and then you click on save Pokemon from tabs. And this is where you would need to save your Pokemon. Now, you save it wherever you want it. I'm gonna save it on the desktop just to make this example. And here, you would need to put a name for the file. Now, don't put the name of the Pokemon itself because, of course, if you just do it, then when I'm gonna load the file, I'll know which one it is and that's kind of boring. So just put here, for example, Pokemon 1. 
for example, that's the first one you did, so put Pokemon 1, or just put Ag 1, you know, and you save it, bam, you save it there, so now if I minimize here, you'll see this file, this is the file, and this file is the one that you're gonna grab, and you're actually gonna send it to the Gmail that will be down below in the description, now you can use your Hotmail, whatever the mail you use, you can just go there to your mail, and uh, you just send it to that Gmail, that's pretty much it, just put that file on the mail and send it to me, that's all you have to do. So make sure you send it correctly there, and of course I'll get it, and I'll just upload it into my game, and all will be good. So yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do. Now, to create, to start creating another egg, you would just need to basically just change these things, you can just go and change them, you could just go here and set over it, and then save. That's even easier. So yeah. It's a pretty simple tutorial, it's pretty simple to do, most of you guys should already know how to do this if you've done eggs for any other egg lock. And I would appreciate if you guys would send me eggs, so yeah, I'll wait one week for you guys to send me eggs. And that's pretty much it, so you can send me eggs whenever, even when the series is still ongoing. Until I don't finish the series or lose, you can, guys can send me eggs, I'll accept all the eggs. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. Hope you guys like the idea, let me know feedbacks down below, let me know if you're hyped, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. So, until then, stay beast, see ya!